Destiny is a really interesting game to me when it comes to just how it was perceived, because it came off the coattails of what was somewhat of a mediocre game, not in my opinion, but generally it's recognised as being a pretty mediocre game in the form of Destiny 1, which had been bogged down by DLC and various you know, life changes and just... It, it was a mess overall. It's still a fun game to this day. It's one of the few um, games that I've returned to despite there being a sequel out. If you ignore like Call of Duty and stuff where games are completely different from game to game. But you know what I mean. It's a very polarising game, Destiny 1. And that kind of extends into Destiny 2. Now... This is obviously a game that released at full retail. I was one of the people who got the special edition. I don't regret it at all. I actually really like the stuff that came in the special edition. It's actually one of my favourite special editions I own. Which is pretty good because I own a lot of like Halo special editions and card special editions and stuff. And those ones are amazing. But yeah, there's something about the Destiny 2 special edition. I can't remember what specifically it was called. Um, but the special edition anyway. The, the big box. That has always just been cool to me, and I don't know why. It's, I still display the little trinkets and stuff to this day. But, yeah, the game, at launch at least, I was happy with. Um, it was never something that was that big for me. It's like, I played through the campaign in two weeks, I think. Two or three weeks. I played through the entire main story, which... You know, that's maybe a bit quick, especially for me. I don't play, like, consistently. There's very few games I'll ever play through in, like, a day or whatever. You know, I'm not that kind of person. It's probably Portal, and that's about it, which I could probably play multiple day times in a day, but that's beside the point. That's not what I'm about. But, uh, yeah, I obviously had the, the first two expansion packs because of the fact I got the uh, Ultimate Edition or whatever it was, and... Yeah, they were fine. Um, it was Osiris and uh, Warmind. War, War, I think so. I don't remember really. And yeah, they were fine. The new areas were nice. The new enemies, well, I use that in quotes, but the new enemies were cool. And then the next DLC came out, which I did get because I was still into the game. I still enjoyed playing it. And, you know, the fact that I can't remember what it was actually called it says a lot about the quality of it it wasn't memorable in the slightest it brought some nice things for the pvp you know a nice variety of maps it brought in a lot of new good weapons and stuff but generally it left a lot to be desired then obviously the game became free to play which as i say i don't mind that I had that I paid. I basically paid for early access and that's fine by me. It was a good game. I liked it at the start. I still like it to this day. I like it, I like playing it. But when it went free to play, it felt like everything subsequently was way too expensive to be reasonable for what content you were getting. And with Beyond Light essentially being another sixty, seventy plus expansion, it's just are you serious right now? And I, I don't know. I may be in the minority here. I'm still probably going to get it, but this is also a very different time for me because I'm going from... I initially played on the Xbox One with Destiny 1 and originally with Destiny 2. I then moved over onto uh, PS4, and then I was playing it for a good while on Stadia. And... Now, with Beyond Light, I'm moving over to PC, so it's just an interesting time. So, I, I hope that uh, this rant, this ramble, wasn't too all over the place. I just wanted to kind of just talk about my thoughts going into Beyond Light, moving to PC, finally, after however many years. And, uh, yeah, I think that's... I'm going to talk about. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Crucible gameplay in the background. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, bye! Luna Rainbow Flag, Happy Pride, Rabbit with Facts, Streamer Let's Play, they them out like dinosaurs, FNAFN, Troll, not the leader of a cult, Rabbit with Facts, it's Luna.